Aspen University CJ 110 Introduction to Criminal Justice. My name is Andre Rosedale. I'm the instructor for this course, and this is Module 3, Discussion Question 1, which states, discuss community policing and how it differs from traditional forms of policing. What are the pros and cons of each and why? So I'm interested in knowing what um, your response is, followed by a good APA uh, reference, even if it's just a textbook, uh, for this question. Community policing and uh, how does it differ from traditional forms of policing? I don't know that it does. I also teach community policing, which is CJ405 in uh, for Aspen University. Uh, community policing is, it was something that was like formalized uh, and it, it involved like, you know, getting in contact with the community and responding to their needs, uh, much like policing in the United States did when uh, there were patrol cars and there were call boxes, people would be assigned to different neighborhoods and they would walk and they would get to know their their butchers, their bakers, and their candlestick makers, and the, the drunks on the corner, and the, uh, the housewives, and the milkmen, and the teachers, and, and that kind of thing. Um, and I, I think that, um, that that was traditional policing, and now they're trying to make that community policing. My department has a six or eight man community policing unit with one sergeant. Uh, it's not full, it's never been full. And they don't really do traditional, they don't do community policing stuff. They do go to uh, different meetings like neighborhood watch meetings or national night out uh, prep. Uh, but for the most part, they're just like a condition squad. Um, they're bike certified, so they ride, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, they, they're assigned to different hot spots in the city. Um, and they... Uh, they handle it. They do a lot of, uh, they're not slaves to the radio. They go out and do proactive work and show up to hot calls when they want to. Um, it, it is different. It is not exactly what community policing should do. But I believe that traditional policing is community policing. I live in the city that I work in. Um, I know uh, right now I'm assigned to the, to the downtown area. I don't live downtown. Um, but I know... You know, the guy at the deli that's near my house, the, the uh, family that runs the Chinese restaurant, the, the package store owner, the liquor store owner. Uh, and I know these people and I stop in to the point where if you've ever watched uh, one of the Dirty Harry movies where Clint Eastwood goes in and he gets a cup of coffee and while he's paying for it, he's reading the paper, not really paying attention to the waitress, but she's pouring a ton of sugar into his coffee and he doesn't see it. But he, he walks out and he takes a sip of the coffee and he spits it out and he realizes they're getting robbed. Recently, I was in a um, I was in the liquor store picking up something and um, uh, picking up a six pack or something for the weekend. And um, the owner kind of looked over at me, recognized me in plain clothes. I was off duty and uh, to the point where I went outside and I called for uh, a marked unit. Um, we were having commercial burglaries at the time, and this uh, gentleman had, who matched the description had come in and was asking very strange questions, like, what time do you close, that kind of thing. Uh, he was not the commercial burglar, but the unit did come, the marked unit did come up, identify the guy, uh, shoot him on his way, and we haven't seen him since. So was he case in the place? Possibly. Was it coincidental? It was, because we did keep, catch the commercial burglar. My point being, um, I am a uh, traditional patrol police officer, and I know my community, I know my neighbors. Uh, when I lived in um, a different section of the city, I would park my cruiser outside. It was a little village on the northeast section of the town, and uh, I would be sitting down for dinner, and they would people would come and knock on my door because they'd rather deal with me than the officer assigned to their area. So. I really think the traditional forms of policing are community policing. Let me know what you think, and remember your APA uh, reference for your initial post.